say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home Alors, amis de la poésie, bonjour. Eh bien, oui, en attendant Collège Football, on va continuer avec nos bizarres. Et là, en fait, on affronte des Spurs sans Wembayana qui est blessé. Donc, euh, donc euh, un adversaire plus facile à prendre. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Poole. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Collins with a screen on Brogdon. Vassell can't get it to go. More than a few bad breaks for him this quarter. He's struggling, and the team is following suit on the scoreboard. Here's Tyson. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And he goes strong with the one-handed. Et ce match commence par un festival de dunk. Two of five tonight. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, Denver Vassell's game is more varied than he. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. Well, now we have some time to check in with Ali LaForce. Ali. Thanks. I'm here with Coach Popovich, and Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we played really soft so far. Really pathetic defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap as we check out how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. You know, right now, for the Wizards, they've been one of the bigger disappointments so far in the early going. Some people thought they might be an elite team, and we haven't seen that at all. But the good news is there's still plenty of room and time to turn it around. And looking at the first half we just watched, wow, what a performance for the Washington Wizards. Well, the scoring off the bench changed the complexion of this game, and the way it's going, I mean, Keep spreading those minutes around, Coach. It's working for you. When I was playing, I agreed with the share of the wealth, as long as you didn't take me out. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. We've got Jordan Poole, and it's Koulibaly in a small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. And a fast break now for the Wizards. Pass to Tyson. Over Johnson. Tyson with the bucket. And now it's a nine-point Wizard lead. Six. Vassell outside. Fires the three. It's deflected. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it. Got a piece of it. Here's Koulibaly. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. This one. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Malcolm, there's no question you won this game defensively. What were the aspects that enabled you to contain them so well? Man, just being locked in, man. Every possession. We didn't take any possessions off. Um, everybody guarded their lane and, and we're there on the help side. You have to be mentally exhausted. Thanks, Malcolm. Bon, ben, un adversaire a bien diminué, euh, mais quand même, euh, 
n'arrive pas à bien capitaliser sur Poul et sur son talent parce que bon Alexa on a ok mais MVP du match c'est un peu faut qu'on faut qu'on qu utilise mieux Poul et alors Kuzma vraiment j'arrive j'arrive pas à l'utiliser 